Swapo had been organizing a series of demonstrations in all Zambezi constituencies denouncing secessionist activities. The group from Linyanti, under the leadership of Swapo, arranged to meet others from Makanga, Sibinda, and other areas in the constituency to proceed to Malangalenga to hand over a petition. However, they were met by a group of the youth in support of separating the region from Namibia. The group told NBC News that residents of the village last week told Indunas of Linyanti that they are not in support of those calling for a unitary state. The majority of those people are not residents of Linyanti village. To tell you the truth, they are only five from Linyanti village. The rest are coming from Akanga and Sibinda. Some are coming from the Mayai community. The other issue that is there is that they are saying we cannot secede. Should we refuse to ask for seceding? If our land is being sold, just imagine that as we speak, Botswana ends here at this start road. On the other side, the BDF are troubling us, telling us our land is not in Namibia anymore. What's that? What we refuse to accept is underdevelopment. We want development. They come from their villages and meet here and later says Linyanti people are accepting. We will not accept. At Malangarenga village, they held their demonstration and handed over a petition to the Linyanti Swapo Party District Coordinator. We therefore demand all activity of UDP and the, and the so-called secessionist movement individuals to be stopped with, with immediate effect in the Linyanti constituents and Zambezi at large. We call upon those individuals to exercise freedom of expression as provided in Namibia, in Namibian constitution. They also call upon relevant authorities, including village headmen, to do all they can to stop and restrict their communities from supporting secessionist ideas. Sidi Lombiana, NBC News, Lignanti Village.